Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Thursday, July 18th, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are sitting at 394 kilometers per second with a density of 7.2. And today the sun is blank. Zero sunspots. We are now at 10 straight days without sunspots. A total of 128 days for 2019. Our KP indices are at a 1 and our 24 hour max is sitting at a 2. And take Taking a look at the SDO, we do have a coronal hole that is now turned away from Earth. We do expect solar wind speeds to increase from this coronal hole between July 19th and July 20th. And cosmic ray update, new results from the moon. Article taken from spaceweather.com. Note to astronauts, 2019 is not a good year to fly into deep space. In fact, it's shaping up to be one of the worst of the space age. One of the deepest solar minima of the past century is underway now. As the sun's magnetic field weakens, cosmic rays from deep space are flooding into the solar system, posing potential health risks to space travelers. NASA is monitoring the situation with a radiation sensor in lunar orbit. The Cosmic Ray Telescope for the Effects of Radiation, Crater, has been circling the moon on NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft since 2009. Researchers have just published a paper in the journal Space Weather describing Crater's latest findings. The overall decrease in solar activity in this period has led to an increased flux of energetic particles to levels that are approaching those observed during the previous solar minimum in 2009-2010, which was the deepest minimum of the space age. This always happens during solar minimum. Solar activity goes down, cosmic rays go up. The last two solar minimum have been unusually deep, leading to high cosmic ray fluxes in 2008 through 2010, and again in 2018 through the present. These are the worst years since humans first left Earth in the 1960s. The latest data from Crater show cosmic ray fluxes almost doubling since 2015. And now here's Mari. Thank you, Jake. Today I would like to review this week's new volcanic activity and unrest for July 10th through the 16th, 2019. Manam, Papua New Guinea. The Darwin VAAC reported that on July 12th, an ash plume from Manam rose to an altitude of 3.7 kilometers, that's 12,000 feet, and drifted north based on satellite data and weather models. Shizladen in the Fox Islands, AVO increased the aviation color to yellow and the volcano alert level to advisory on July 12th, following several weeks of increasing seismicity and elevated temperatures in the summit crater. This was identified in satellite images. Seismic tremors continued to be elevated at least through July 16th. On to Stromboli in Italy, INGV reported an explosive sequence at Stromboli on July 3rd, which changed the morphology of the crater terrace. Some of the vents produced explosions regularly during July 8th through the 14th and fed lava flows that traveled about halfway down the Sierra del Fuego. Material from the lava flow fronts rolled all the way down to the coastline. A new lava flow from Area N, the North Crater area, began July 14th. Over to Ubinus in Peru, Institute of Geophysics in Peru reported that seismic activity remained elevated during the 1st through the 15th of July. Volcano tectonic events averaged 279 per day, and long period events indicating fluid movement averaged 116 events per day. Minor bluish emissions rose from the crater. The alert level remained at yellow. Ongoing activity was reported for the following 18 volcanoes. Please join us tonight for our live show at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give us a like and a share. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel.